But day 21 of harvest log for 2022. This is our heap of champion seed wheat. Uh, champion itself is a feed wheat, so it's been grown um, primarily for livestock feed. So chickens, pigs, dairy, uh, sheep finishing, all sorts of things really. Um, and we're really pleased with how it's gone. This was all from the grass with the understory of white clover. So quite a low amount of nitrogen was applied. Uh, it had about 130 kilograms of nitrogen um, sort of per hectare, uh, with the balance coming from the soil mineral N, so the, the sort of nitrogen that's in the soil, what the crop had gathered over the winter time, and then the sort of the breakdown and the uh, creation of nitrogen through the through the growing season, both by the sort of soil biology and the, and a little bit from the clover. Um, <coughs> so it's all in. Uh, it did a, just a shy under 11 tonnes per hectare, 10.98 tonnes, which was um, much more than we were expecting. Um, it's a it's a lovely grain as well. It's quite a big, nice, bold sample. Um, so samples have been. Uh, sent away to get it analysed for its germination to make sure that it's going to be able to grow um, when it gets moved onto farms uh, later this year to um, to be sown in this coming autumn. So fingers crossed those results all come back nicely. Uh, really nice clean wheat, only just had two fungicides, one on the flag leaf, so the very last flag to come out for the ear, one on the ear for grain quality, quite a bit of foliar nitrogen, Quite a lot of carbon being applied to try and maximise the efficiency. Um, and this field, uh, Quarry South, there's a few YouTube videos um, sort of through the season of, of sort of following the progress right from when we planted uh, the clover and then the uh, grazed it with sheep and uh, followed it right through. So hopefully once we get some rain, that clover is going to germinate, it's going to get growing um, and, um, and it will be in situ for the next crop. So uh, yeah, it's done a, done a really cracking job.